Team Link would take some level of insane team fight control. It actually oh, okay. is. It's Miracle on Wraith King. That might be what they're thinking, that they want to give Mind Control a better game and that Matumba can come back, because he will definitely be getting less in this top lane than he would in Silence coming towards the mid lane, Tiny's going top. Wait, they're actually switching now? Yeah, they're, they're switching, they're switching real early and I get to miss first blood. Yeah, they're tri laning bottom. Oh, if Tiny has zero agility and can oh, still walk. Claps yeah. up, that's level two on him, combining with the Fire Blaster and the Ignite, no fear. Bounty runes, that's two per, I think, yep. yep. Unless DH is gonna go for more, and yeah, he is. The Bramble's right in, like, oh, he's gonna fly, he's gonna clip it. Oh, and Courier, yeah, 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 Courier doesn't want to be there. And GH could actually win this, he'll take the hit, but he's got Fairy Fire and he's still got the Shadow Realm available, so he's waiting as long as he possibly can. Now Fairy Fires into the Shadow Realm, full charge, full charge, and support coming in from Nongrada, and it's actually always want to fly finding the kill. While that happened too, Mind Control died up on the north side, Kuro trying to find a little bit of revenge, beating into no fear, able to do so, but this is the perfect scenario for the spec. Hit level seven already. Matumba has hit eight and a half. Oh, bottom lane. Always want to fly is toast. <laughs> you got a sound check. Spectral Haunt looking for a rebuttal. Miracle is the main man. He's not level six yet. That's why there's such a great time to bring in Silent. Don't have a bad laning stage. Mm -hmm. And in addition to that, they have very active supports in the Nature's Prophet and Venge. So just from a drafting perspective, I love what we're seeing here from them. And uh, if they can keep this early game up with this little of a deficit, this can turn into a great Spectre game. Oh, we Profit. can see an upset. He's going to need to come up top right now. Silence under attack. There's more support arriving. The Bramble from GH. The rotation is riding the money, and Spec has no way out of it. And with All the right. Brewmaster split, they have the extra control. Tiny will cancel his TP, but because of this, always want to fly is dead. They just turned around Team Liquid, realizing the support is not coming. And Vengeful Spirit will be the double kill for Mind Control. Especially once they can start going for more plays with the Brood too. Like, Diffuse the Blade is coming real quick. It's bounty rune time for the Brood Mother. And you're right, 10 minute time. Iceberg's actually on a rotation with Smoke. Always want to fly an Iceberg coming north. But the rotation already came from Liquid. Silence the one attacked. He's got 21 charges available, so he can survive this. No fear TP's in. Almost as distraction. Now allow Iceberg to get the double avalanche. Looking for the toss. One more hit with the tree toss. Will kill off Mind Control. And they turn their attention over towards Kuro. Heavy rotations. Perfect sprout block. Turns for a stun. But two hero kills. GH will actually grab one. But Liquid don't really lose much by, by way of getting those bounties. Mm -hmm. Prophet's gonna TP down towards bottom lane. I think they wanna try and break that ankh. And Miracle does level up. Silent will arrive. So they'll have to kill him twice over. Arrow, it doesn't connect at oh, the right time. Skeleton. Skeletons came up at the perfect time to block it. And now Miracle turns some good damage into Silent, but it will not be enough. Miracle will die. Brings a lot of resources to do it, and while they're all down on bottom lane, Iceberg gets hunted down. They need to give Venge lane. They can't keep being this underleveled on that hero. It's not very useful. It's like they're trying to set up for a bottom lane fight, but always want to fly, walks underneath the Observer Ward. Very easy detection and kill off, and then just rotate into the next hero kill. Koro will take the stun of the arrow from Nongrada, but it's Matumbum with a double kill. Play to not die to Brood, you're basically conceding the map to Brood, right? If you don't itemize to kill, he will dominate you anyway. And that's what's happening right now. Nobody's dealing with Matumba Man at all. <laughs> I think they need something on the Spectre, like a Diffusal Blade or a Manta, yep. uh, so that they can kill the Brood in their stuns. Make sure they have enough... Bring him down. But instead, they're trying to do this, get him behind the lines, attack into the Tier 1 tower. But because the webs are already covering all the way towards the mid, Matumba just brings his army through the rear, and Nofi has no way to really survive this. He can't TP out in time. Iceberg will go down as well for hill dominance. The thing I'm worried about here is if he goes Radiance on Spectre, he's just going to get Cyclone by Brew. Non grata. So much damage so quickly with the Terrorize, he can't even react with the leap. If you don't shove this Brood out or have a lineup that can force Liquid to defend, which they don't seem to be able to do at all, got to take the fight, man. It doesn't get easier. Oh, the fight's coming. Miracle, blink forward. Leap does not disjoint that Hellfire Blast. They terrorize to ensure Nongrata again cannot react. GH is being so liberal with such a long cooldown ability. But it doesn't matter as long as they get the kill, they then take the objective directly after. Matumba is so dead. He's almost finishing his AC. Yep. What's his GPM at? Uh, 650. Yeah. Always want to fly is in trouble. Iceberg just can't help. Good and bad, actually. Slack's doing something can be both good and bad. 
The uh, spirit vessel oh. is almost done for no fear. All right. Well. Oh, hang on. Never mind. I take it back. <laughs> He's a little bit further away now from his spirit vessel. He tried to get the tower and just go high ground. They're, they're doing both. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that one, though. I got, I got, okay, GH and Mind Control looked like they were heading north, but uh, it's bottom lane. There Radiant are so ready. many skeletons, and they all move towards the Hellfire Blasted target. And it's spec. He gets swapped back out again. Silent Burns a little bit, but look at the army. It moves forward, takes so much damage, thanks to actually the Starfall and the Avalanche. VS will die, but a very quick buyback. Now Iceberg can try and go for these kills. Tosses the Ogre around. Finds that pick off. No Tier 3 towers lost. And yeah. this incursion from Team Liquid is at least repelled for now. Now you imagine that fight with a Brewmaster. They just didn't have him. Both Brewmaster and Willow were on the other side of the map. It looked like Liquid were trying, like you said, to pull two plays at the same time. But now they're together, and they might just go in anyway with a dead ogre. Miracle, there's your jump forward right on top of Nongrata, and they just crit him down. But Tumba will take that kill, but they also get the lockdown. Thanks to the Bramble Major on two spec. So Silent is gone, always want to fly under control, and the Brewmaster Chaos is created. It just keeps everyone under control underneath the Tier 4 towers. Prophet was able to TP back out again, but one by one, Iceberg, he tries to come in for something more, able to kill off the Dark Willow, Gosh. but they just can't fight this. Oh my god, the damage. <laughs> AC Medallion, and then the crit from Brewmaster and Wraith King, I think that was at the same time. Yeah, they're back again, but is like, more, 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 more! Oh, he has Aegis, so can play a little bit. Oh. Hellfire, leap, leap. Yep. And oh, man. After no fear. This is, uh... This is dumb. This is dusted. We're 22 minutes in, but this game is over. There's no way that Liquid even need to leave the base of Windstrike. The second someone comes in range, he just becomes another kill. He becomes an extra padding for fantasy points. And they still can't even break the reincarnation of, of the Wraith King. He'll be ready to turn around and steal some life in just a second. Well, oh, nope, there goes the reincarnation. But always want to fly. And the Hellfire Blast up to Nongrata. GG. GG indeed. It was a good day to have Miracle on your team. 20.7 fantasy points just for this one game. Nice. I love it. I love it. Clinks is even not the strongest laner, and Chen is a lane dominator, so he can uh, counter Clinks that way. And then he has to steal the Arcane Rune. Wait, he's maxing Astro Imprisonment? I don't know, man. He I don't is. know if that's the approach to this lane. Oh, oh but yes. That's a kill. Yeah, Troll Trap. They're looking to kill off GH. He's just going to Illuminate Spam, try and help out Matubman to find the kills. Aegis Prophet was actually looking for the jump to start with, but Matubman's taking way too much damage from the Searing Arrows of Silent. They're looking yes. good in this early game. This is the first game I've seen of Windstrike where they're clearly ahead minute five on net worth. Might have some trouble though. Iceberg just uses imprisonment aggressively against Miracle. They've got Dragon Town plus the dual breath, but they don't have the range available. Hellfire Blast comes off cooldown in one second time, but always when a fly does his own rotation in, so Miracle. He uh, wonders exactly what he wants from this. Nice talk is TP'd over too. So now Liquid, they don't have the numbers. And Matumba, they'll slow him down with the Void. Up the hill, the attack will not miss. So Iceberg will claim that one, turning their attention. Now over towards Miracle. And both the cores of Team Liquid are going to die within the span of like 30 seconds underneath their own Tier 1 tower. Answer is definitely yes. Imprisonment will finish the job. This is a huge kill, because Miracle tried to stun the Venge and TP out. He tried to be cheeky there. But... So Kuro's gank attempt onto Iceberg. So Kuro just wasted a good 30 seconds just sitting in the mid lane. Hoping oh for an opportunity God, and Keeper of Light. What the hell happened to him? Silent now becomes another target, but Tubman goes after him. Doesn't have the extra life. Iceberg does die in the mid lane eventually. And even TP back to base. He TP'd out to the Shrine. He doesn't want to slow down his progression. Kuro is ready to go again on mid. They just keep waiting for Iceberg to use Astral Imprisonment and then come forward. Troll Trap, one stomp, two stomp. Uh, Dragon Tail stun, they'll use that instead. And the Illuminate from GH clipping into Always Wanna Fly. Kuro's positioning of the Centaur saw so much of this coming, but he did not see Silent, who could now oh, actually sticks. use that Death Pact in the middle of this fight to gain that little bit of extra strength to now turn around. My Control does not have Enrage available, and no fear, Sprout is up. He needs one quick control. Now Sprout Miracle, they'll stun my Control. It's a little bit of miss targeting at least, but with the negative armor hitting Mind Control and Miracle do not want to hang around. They've got the Centaur with the Sun available. So a space can be created by this. But at the very least for them, they got that. Radiant's Liquid still. Pull back in a gold lead. They haven't had this since the game began, I think, actually. Uh, you are pretty much correct. They had it for a short period of time around the three-minute mark. 
And now they're looking to take this tower. So putting on the team fight pressure, they know that Windstrike's lineup is not good at playing this type of game. Yeah, but here comes they Darkness. might still be good enough. In through the rear. Yori got the courier delivering an extra <laughs> ward visit during the middle of the fight. Start the first on out, but it's really the Ventral Spirit. Always want to fly, bit off a lot more than he can chew. And Nongrata was battling Keeper of the Light, but there was no real follow-up. Now Iceberg will arrive. He doesn't have the Eclipse available, and they're still fighting into the Illuminate Blast. So no Creep Waves really available at all. Instead, it's just, okay, it will be Kuro tying with the Wrath of Nature going through. And when Strike were not set up. Prophet. Jumping in behind the lines, they want to stop GH. Oh, he did. Fantastic combination when you got them together. Prophet can TP in, Sprout get the vision on the uh, Keeper of the Light, who loves to play from the tree lines and just go full defensive. Mid lane always want to fly, oh, Miracle yeah, started up, but now OD comes into the fight, so you can swap him back in, Kuro's nearby, trying to send Miracle all the way home, they have the damage dropping! That Sadie's Eclipse to find the kill. If you start illuminating the lanes against these kind of heroes, if they see you, you're dead. Just dive him and kill him. And now these cores can really do much. I I wonder if we... Oh, okay, they're actually going to three-man smoke up and kill off Matumba. If their timing is right, Windstrike just need to wrap around the high side, oh, which yes. is exactly what they do. They walk the right angle, and Iceberg four stars forward into the imprisonment. They also around him. GH's Blast will be able to connect onto four heroes, and they look to turn oh around. Remember, he's got the reincarnation with the Breathe Fire and the Illuminate. Did a lot of damage, and they swap them down. Always want to find ones to stay in the fight. But Tumble will go down. Another Illuminate connects, and the Chen Army wrapping around from behind. Windstrike! They thought they were in power, but they were blinded by the light. Five-man Illuminate, five-man Breathe Fire. <laughs> and then another great Illuminate from GH. And when strike, they have found a target. Yeah. It's your old boy, Keeper of the Light. <laughs> so, so, all right. Look at this. Sure, boom, boom, boom. Oh, Blinding okay. light. Space yes, created. Wait, what? But then Nongrata comes up. He'll get the range with the Void. No one's going to fly. They are really showing some hatred towards GH. Attack. Until Nature's Prophet wants to TP in behind him. But no, he'll go down towards bottom lane. Sprouts up over on Miracle. Support TPs in, in the form of no Grana. Iceberg came in through the Shrine. So they focus on the DK. Spirit Vessel is up, so DK just doesn't have that sustain, that innately tanky sustain you were looking for. And they turn their attention towards Matumbaman. Swap him out, out of the trees, out of all kind of movement, and two heroes from Liquid. Picked off Pink's positive multiple times as Windstrike go through it. And that's why Matumba and Mind Control are sitting where they're sitting underneath the sentry wall. They try and kill off Silent. Won't happen. The stun with the Wrath of Nature. Matumba takes a lot of damage as Vengeful Spirit. She was the one trying to provide that control but dies quickly. Mid lane. I, I, Icebug's loving this. I don't think he's loving the unit he just imprisoned. But then support in from behind. Oh, Silent bash. with the double damage room. But the Bash is there a control. Silent, they forced stop him up. But Miracle will still find the hit in. Looking Not for possible. a target. Smoke, oh, get a break, on MC. Mind Control walking directly over, but Mind Control so quick on the blink, he actually jumps up, they're going to use the Chen Creep to allow him to find Vengeful Spirit, <laughs> throws himself in the line of fire, and everyone else has arrived on top of the shrine, the TP's in from Team Liquid, they're focusing down onto Iceberg, hey, at least his BKB is up and running, Nice Ocker pushed back up, in with the Mana Leak, cannot outrun this over the hill doesn't get far away my controls blink is already back off cooldown now comes the high ground push liquid have their timing they know darkness was used so 50 seconds with a really weak night stalker Fortification will probably slow them down. Blinding line, Mind Control wasn't really ready for that. In fact, he wanted to try and fight. Has to munch on his cheese, always want to fly, swaps him in. Mind Control just burns the BKB and then kills off, always want to fly. Down without buyback available. Miracle, they'll slow him up. The banishment is there. Remember, the sidelines are still pushing in. That's the way Windstrike anticipated this. So Liquid will feel that pressure. And they stop him at, oh, this, this is trouble. He has to BKB. Sprout. Yeah, Miracle. Trying to get out of here. In fact, he's just battling up against Nongrad, who can tank through a lot of this. And they brought the dust available. GH, how quick did he come? Bringing in the friends. You had the Lotus Orb protecting, but not enough. And the Clinks, mind control. Comes in with the Abyssal Blade, catching Silent by surprise. So what I thought was the plan there from Windstrike that I would have really liked was I thought they were going to start a fight on the opposite side of the map, and Liquid will rely on recalling their Dragon Knight in. So if they could have started that fight, and Clinks just hits the Dragon Knight once, and then TP's away. Oh, Iceberg! Going in with always want to fly, but the bash is from mind control. The swap up, and he has to defensively imprison. Prophet wants to come and join this fight. I don't think he actually really wants to. That Chen army is already there to give the control. Kuro will lose his life for it. VS has to buy it back, and no fear. Forced off into the TP out. GH can't force off the right direction. 
And my controls blink was on cooldown. Time is being wasted. The up on top lane, not by miracle. Attacking to the tier three tower. The damage output is ridiculously good. Around 300, not including crit. And then now beats in towards the buildings. Always want to fly, has no swap available. And Klinks doesn't really feel like he's got the distance yet. Oh wow, he actually found another one. He found no fear. Sure. Bottom lane, why not? But the top lane's where it's all about. Miracle is just ripping through Windstrike. They just don't have the power to withstand this. As in they go, Mind Control pushing Silent back out again. That's the game. GG, well played. Team Liquid will follow in the footsteps of EG and 2-0 Windstrike.